was um, when I was uh, starting becoming a trainer. Uh, the Austrian system, and I'm here currently in lovely Vienna with beautiful weather, sunshine outside. Uh, I was I was actually starting off as an IT engineer. I focused on IT security and everything related to hardware security. This was like my big thing. I was very interested in that at the time. And uh, by 2011, I noticed, okay, so I like the topic, I like the subject, I like the methods, the programs, and so on and so forth. But it was just, you know, 80% fun. Or maybe even 70% fun. I, I was not happy. So probably, and I'm assuming here now, you already saw a couple of commercials on YouTube, how to find your passion in life or do the right thing to become the best version of you or any kind of these kind of, uh, of, these kind of videos. Um, I went through this process and I actually started asking myself, so what do I like? And I knew what, what I was subjected, uh, what I was exposed to was all the IT stuff. I was exposed to IT ex specialist. I was uh, putting, my, putting my energy and my time into being an IT specialist myself. What I did not notice that while being an IT specialist, I actually educated a lot of people within the span of 2003 to, the, to 2010 within the field of IT. So I was actually educating people. I was already doing something to help other people understand um, what they are working with. And this was something that was really, really driving my fun. I was enjoying myself 100%. So it was for me in 2012, there was for me this moment where I was like, okay, I'm not really happy with my, with my old IT work. Uh, what do I do with my IT work? Mm. So in my past, I was doing a lot of things there, uh, but I would like to change. Mm. How do I do the change? Mm. I was not quite sure. I went to my boss back then and I was actually outsourced to the IT security company. And uh, so I went to my, my, my step-in boss basically and said, hey, uh, I would like to go back to my original company in order to get a new project, in order to work on something different. I would like to switch and, 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 and do something else. And they said, ah, okay, we'll arrange everything. So they liked me. I was good for the ego. Uh, but then I went to my company and they said, mm, actually the boss said on the 20, uh, on this 19th of December, hi, Philip. Uh, here, uh, please have a look on this paper, and he and he moved the paper towards me, and I was uh, I was like, what kind of paper? I, I didn't even say hi, um, and he said, yeah, please sign that. This is right now important for for us. Okay, right. so I had a look on the paper, and it was uh, it it was a uh, it was a slip where they uh, resigned me from from my job and where they actually fired me. Uh, the reason that they provided me with back then was, okay, we don't have a project right now for you. So since all the positions are filled and you don't want to work with the other company, goodbye. Okay. So I, I was in this position where I felt like I'm not 100% happy with my, with my, with my job so far. Uh, but then suddenly this job was gone <laughs> and it was for me like okay so what do i do now and that was actually one of the best things that happened to me because that was the moment where i understood that this was just my starting point so what was a new thing in my life what was the new goal for me it took some time and i was Ultimately, I was I was unemployed for for about half a year. I was searching what I wanted to do. I was doing a couple of job interviews, but nothing that really uh, struck me as something interesting. Struck me as something interesting, uh, and more of the same from what I already been doing. So I was like, okay, so what's going to be the new thing? 
And this was the moment where I realized, okay, so the working with people is something that I really love. This is something where what I enjoyed. This is something where I excelled. And I realized, okay, so, so far I already had collected a lot of experience in teaching people and training people and coaching people. And that was the moment where I realized, okay, so there is an untapped potential and, and um, a diamond in the rough inside of myself that I didn't notice so far. And for me, there was a question, okay, so when I look at my old job and when I look at this diamond in the rough, what would be the common factor? So here I was IT specialist and here I was really enjoying the work with, with to work with people and coaching them, training them. I was like, okay. So if I combine those two things, um, I would realize if I would combine, no, no, no wrong when i combine it i noticed whoa when i combine it there are two big potentials that i can use first of all my expertise in understanding these people and second of all my my desire and my enjoyment when i work with people so understanding tech people and understanding it people in particular Coming from an IT university, I knew that we usually were looked as the nerds that are weird and that have some strange social skills, the IT nerds. Uh, but when I moved outside and I realized, okay, so this expertise I do have available and enjoying working with them, I can combine. Ooh, interesting. There was a change for me happening. And this change was um, first a perceptual change and then uh, change in, in earnings as well.